All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 50. All right. So in the role playing game project, we learned how to set a button's behavior by editing its on click property. Yes, we did. Uh, we can also edit an element's behavior by adding an event listener. Yeah, okay. I've heard event listener a bunch, but this is the first time for me seeing it, all right? So we're gonna call the add event listener method of the add entry button, pardon me. Yes, of the add entry button. It takes two arguments. The first is the event to listen to. So we should pass the string click. And the second is the callback function or the function that runs when the event is triggered. We're gonna pass the add entry function as the second argument, but we're gonna note that we should not call add entry, but pass the variable or function reference directly, all right? So we're not gonna have the, uh, we're not gonna have the parentheses, it's just gonna be this part right here, right? So let's start off, we're gonna get this add entry button, okay? So we've got the add entry button up here. Let's double click this, copy it, so we don't have to try spelling it. Uh, and so we've got that. Now we're gonna do dot add event listener. So we'll do dot add e event listener like this, right? So before we go further, uh, let's go check out exactly what the, uh, let's just go look at the MDM page for this thing. Cause I have already looked at it in rehearsal. I'll show you what's up, right? So we do add event listener in the Google bar and we'll come over here uh, to the first one, you know, the event target add events listeners method, right? So I tried reading this aloud in all this aloud in uh, rehearsal. This, I don't understand any of that stuff. But when we get down here, we've got add event listener type listener. That's the syntax. So the type is the, cl uh, is the click right here. And the listener is going to be this add entry, right? So first things first, let's look at this type. It's a case sensitive string representing the event type to listen for. So let, when we go here, watch this. Let's go, let's go to this in a new tab. You can see there are a lot of different types. In fact, there's animation, asynchronous, data fetching, clipboard, composition, and we're just on the C's. We could go all, look how much we got to scroll to get to the end of this list. So right now, just looking at this right now, we have a clue that add event listener, this thing right here is, is this, this is going to be one of our big money methods right here. This one's probably going to be a, a solid workhorse uh, w during our careers while using JavaScript. So yeah, I think we just stumbled onto a, a, a real gold mine here. So like I said, we're going to do the type in the listener. So the type is going to be click. Let's go back to this thing. So there's a click probably right. No. What? What? Hold on. Control F. I didn't look this up. Click. Click. Mouse. Mouse element. I don't know. Anyway, we're so we're going to put click right here anyway, because it tells us to click. And then we're going to make that a string. All right. I don't know where to find that on the uh, MDM page, but we'll we'll get into this later. Let's just get over with this. Let's just get this video over with. Uh, and then right here, we'll do add entry. Because over here on the uh, thing, it says, the listener is an, the object that receives a notification, an object that implements the event interface. So it's an object, it's not a function call. Uh, this must be null, an object with a, an, pardon me, with a handle event method or a JavaScript function, but not a call. Right. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do here. So now let's uh, check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 151. And we'll see you next time.